Greetings and welcome back to Star Fox Zero. Well, as it turns out, it seems like we are done with the main game, as in unlocking all the stages and everything. As you can see, we've unlocked several alternate routes, starting with this one, then we went down to the Star Wolf event, then there was another one over here on Fortuna, which we made us fight, made us fight Star Wolf alone, and that one was a little interesting, but not impossible. Then there was this thing for Peppy alone to do, which was interesting because every time you do the whole uh, barrel spin or barrel roll, whatever you call it, he screamed a barrel roll on the controller. So yeah, that's that. And so far, that seems to be it. So now what is left to do? Well, as you saw down there, there is something I have not unlocked. And that is this thing. And it says here that as soon as I finish arcade mode, it will end. So... We might, let's see, beat your best times and go for new high scores as you better with, uh huh. Interesting. So this is probably the closest there is in the game to the original Star Fox mode and games. As in, you go through the game doing as best you can and seeing what goes on and seeing how far you can get. And that is going to be very difficult to actually be. If I, I'm gonna have to actually focus on getting golden rings and all that other stuff. So, without further ado, let's get started on some of the missions. And yes, we are going to have to start from the beginning. But this is basically what Star Fox, the original games, as in on the one on the SNES and the 64 were about. There were no save points. Every time you turned off the console, you had to start from scratch. Even though you could, you could see where you had been and what you had unlocked, you couldn't. You had to follow the game and actually fight your way to go back to that direction. Excuse me while I focus on this. There you go, my friends. Now, what I want to know is do we have access to all of our things? Yes, we do! Okay then, well... And I see something here... Oh, I got it! Awesome! That that right there made me feel awesome. I'm not gonna lie. That made me feel cool. Got the golden ring. That's good. There doesn't seem to be anything else on this side. Shoot those guys. Shoot these guys. There's another door over there we're going to open. And now, the interesting part here is that you can probably... Um, probably I'll go through the alternate paths if you want to, but um, those alternate paths are actually more difficult than regular bosses. Because if I go, go and follow Bill over on his uh, side mission, like right as we co come up through that hill, uh, Bill appears and he says follow us to the western eastern coast. If you do that, you, end, you can get uh, the extra boss, but that boss, which is um, Aqua Rosa, is actually pretty tough and if this is a score attack or a time attack hold it hold it, hold it. yeah that was awesome whoa i got hit no matter there's bill right there now if we wanted to we could it, we could press that button as the walker mode and join him but like i was just saying Aqua Rosa is actually a pretty difficult boss fight, it's... I could do it, but I'm not really in the mood to do it, in the mood. So we're just gonna go towards a regular boss, clear out these uh, last remaining enemies. Ooh. Yeah! Whoa. Ooh, more rings, don't not to mind if I do. The reason I'm going for the regular boss is because he is actually pretty easy. Once you get one of his sides down, it's actually very... All you gotta do is go in him, literally, and go in as walker mode and blow up his core. Yes, I can see that. But before all that, I'm going to grab all this. Well, not all of them, because the silver rings don't actually help me in any way right now. And then I'm going to grab this one in here. And it appears I cannot grab any more. Here's the last power-up. 
Our weapons are fully powered up, so let's blow these guys out of the water. Three, four, five. Apparently, one of them didn't count. And now the boxes should open. There they are. The containers are opening. We're in deep trouble if they reach the tower. This should be good for something. For sharper shooting, use your motion control. Okay, now we gotta deal with this. See, where are you? There you are. Apparently, I can't hit uh, the side of a barn, which is unfortunate. Okay, finally destroy that one. Wait, there's another one? Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, and now the rest of the box should open. Well, the rest of the boxes. Yep, there they are. Now let's take care of these ones over here. Any left? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I think this last one is stuck. Okay, there's the last one. It's climbing up on this thing. Interesting. Come back here, you. There we go. Yes, way to go and now it's boss time. I think we got him off. Star Fox, we are once more in your tent. Ooh, let's grab this while we're at it. Or not. So this boss is actually pretty easy once you figure out the quick way, which is not to deal with the antenna, but... Anyway, the trick to this fight is to expose the real... Is to expose this, and now that it's exposed, we do this! Transform into chicken mode, and in we go! There we go, we're done. And that is how you beat the this boss in the super easy fashion and get mission accomplished. Yes, you did. And somehow nothing gets destroyed with that. <laughs> Whoosh! And here we go. Nobody died and mission accomplished. We are good. We are great. So, next mission. Ring. 249, not even close. So skip that, head on to the next planet. Now, start the next mission, yeah! Ooh, this time they're actually giving you a chance to not do everything in a whole run. That is nice of them. 
And we, this is our entire galaxy map. Interesting. Oh. We are going to skip all that. Thank you very much. All right. This is the one of the harder missions to get mission accomplished on because you need to save all of the friendly, uh, shall we call them corvettes? The giant ships that you need to protect. Heads up. The enemy fleet's closing in on our position. Now you need to destroy those guys and bomb hit it hit it hit it. yeah you need to use a bomb on that very first one otherwise you do not get there in time and this guy right to my right there the big giant thing gets destroyed now you don't need to use a bomb on that one but I was distracted to get trying to get things so I had to use it to ensure. Now these over here have something. There it is. That's the weapon upgrade. Oh, Peppy. There you go. There's another bomb down there. Might as well grab it. Almost done. Only that guy up there left. Yeah, blue lasers, awesome. Okay, we're almost done. That was all of them. Yep, that was all for the Corvettes, so all we gotta do now... Uh, how about... no. I am not about to go chasing you to a more difficult boss fight than actually it needs to be. I am smarter than that. Okay, almost there. That's right, gather together for me. Now, if you guys are just starting to tune in and you want to know what following uh, Pigma Sigmar would do in difference you can click on the link on the screen right now and you are already transformed Fox you're silly and you can see what happens when you follow Pigma Sigmar it's actually a fight against him and not sure what his name is like Okay, looks like this door finally opened, so in we go. I think there's something behind us here, maybe? Yeah, here it is, the metal! I was actually missing this metal from... Ow! There's another metal, so two metals in the exact same spot. 
three medals. Okay then, so this is how you get the three me Are you serious? Oh, hello. I did not know this was up here. Wow, so... Yeah, that's where all three medals are for this level. This must be the power source. Blow that up. That's that. And we're done. Just like the first boss fight. But now I really want to go back there on my normal game and see if all three medals do appear there in the exact same area. Mission accomplished, yes. And really that is only one of the few missions that I have gotten accomplished on, both of them. But yeah, skipping this and... If you get all three medals, I think you get an extra one of those medals on the upper right. And you need those medals to unlock stuff, I think. Not really sure what stuff, but... Anyway, so, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time for the continuation of Star Fox Zero Arcade Run, and so we can finally see what is all the way down there. And the odd thing is that no matter how many golden rings I grab, I don't get an extra one-up. So maybe the golden rings are your one-up, so that's going to be interesting. So, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.